Hi friends, it's Miss Sarah and this month's character craft is Angelina and her friend Marco from Angelina Ballerina. So your kit is going to have everything it needs, uh, including the instructions to make your uh, Angelina handprint tutu and Marco's really neat guitar footprint. So it'll come with a cardstock that includes the tutu handprint and you're going to just very carefully paint your hands and place them right at the bottom of your cardstock just like that and you're gonna have a really neat tutu. The same goes for your Marco guitar. You're gonna have the guitar neck cardstock and you're gonna paint one of your feet and you're going to just make it look like this. So you're gonna have a really cool Marco guitar footprint. Okay, your kit will also include our song lyrics for the day and some really neat ballerina dance moves. So if you wanna learn how to plie or do any of the dance moves that Angelina does, you can learn them right on the back of your song lyrics. The book that we're gonna to read today is called Angelina's Spring Fling. Okay, so we're gonna start. Angelina Ballerina couldn't wait for the first day of spring. She was tired of playing inside all day. It feels like winter is never going to end, Angelina said to her friends. I can't play baseball with snow on the ground, Elle said. I can't wear my new spring jacket in this weather, Gracie exclaimed. Just like our weather outside today, huh? I wish we could make spring come faster, Alice said. Angelina smiled. She had a stupendous idea. We can't make spring come faster outside, but maybe we can make it feel springier inside, Angelina said. Angelina skipped over to her music player. She pressed the button and music began to fill the room. First, we can listen to a piece of music called spring, she cried. As the music played, Angelina began to twirl and leap. She imagined she was dancing through a field filled with blooming flowers and chirping birds. Don't the violins make it sound like spring is marching in? Or like birds are flying home after the long winter? Angelina shouted as she spun around. Have you heard any birds this winter? It's been kind of quiet, it's been so cold. I do feel springier, cried Alice. Everyone was having an excellent time. That is, until Gracie looked out the window and saw flakes of snow falling. Looks like another snowstorm, Marco exclaimed. The magic of Angelina's song had worn off. Just then, Alice got a great idea. You know what always makes me feel like spring? Baseball. We could play pretend baseball, Alice cried. The mouselings ran to the living room. The couch will be first base, and this chair will be second base, Angelina said to Gracie. And the front door is home plate, Alice continued. I'll bet first, Angelina. You're on my team, said Marco. Everyone took their places, and Alice pitched the imaginary ball to Marco. He swung his imaginary bat and took off running. Run, Marco, run, Angelina cheered on her teammate. He had made it to first base. Slugger Angelina is up at bat next, Marco called out from first base. Angelina picked up the imaginary bat Marco had dropped on home plate. Alice threw a pretend pitch, and Angelina swung hard. She swung so hard, in fact, that she knocked the ball out of the park. Angelina ran all around the bases and back to home plate. It's still snowing, but I don't care anymore because I'm having fun, Angelina cried. Me too, cheered Marco and Gracie at the same time. What are some other springy things we can do, asked Gracie. Alice smiled. I know. We can decorate eggs, she suggested. 
What do you like to do when it's cold outside and you have to stay in and play in the warm? I like to drink a cup of milk cocoa. The mouselings pushed the furniture back and rushed to the kitchen. Everyone sat around the kitchen table while Angelina gathered supplies. The mouselings started to paint their eggs. It was going wonderfully until suddenly a bowl turned over. Pink and purple paint was splattered all over the kitchen table and floor. Uh-oh, cried Marco. I'll get a paper towel, said Angelina. We better clean this up before my mom comes downstairs. Uh-oh, see the mess that they made down there? But it was too late. At that moment, Mrs. Mouseling walked into the kitchen and saw the big mess. I'm sorry, Mom. We were trying to make it feel like spring by doing springy things, Angelina said. I understand. It's hard to be cooped up in this weather, but don't worry. I know how we can clean up this mess and make it feel like spring at the same time, Mrs. Mouseling said. Mrs. Mouseling started handing out sponges and mops. Spring cleaning, she declared. Oh, do you like to clean and pick up your toys? Let's play some music, then our spring cleaning will be even springier, cried Angela. Together they cleaned up the mess in no time. The kitchen was sparkly clean again. This kitchen feels as fresh and clean as a spring day, said Mrs. Mousling. That bluebird thinks so too, Marco said, pointing outside to where a baby bird was perched in a tree. A bluebird? That's a sign of spring, isn't it? Alice asked. Absolutely positively. Spring is in the air. I can just feel it, cheered Angelina happily. That's because spring is more than just a season. It's a feeling. It's the happy feeling I get when I'm with my friends. That's the end of Angelina's Spring Fling. And now, if you'll take out your song lyrics, we're going to do the Five Little Mice song. And I have Mr. Mouse here to help us. So, it goes, five little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. Four little mice came scampering back. Four. Four little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. Three little mice came scampering back have three mice left. Three mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. Two little mice came scampering back. Two little mice came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. One little mouse came scampering back. One little mouse came out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. Out came Pussycat, sleek and fat. No little mice went scampering back. Yay, good job, friends. You did such a good job today. I hope you have fun with your foot and handprint finger paints. And I hope you enjoyed the book and the song. And we will see you next month for our next character craft. Have a wonderful day, friends.